stabbing a teenager killed not far from her high school in Westchester County. I would just say she was bullied and she fought back. inside the high school tonight, the suspect on the run. This morning stabbing is the third violent incident involving New Rochelle students in a little over a week. There have now been three violent incidents at New Rochelle High School. Today, police saying a student was stabbed inside the school. Another violent encounter between students today. Yeah, this coming after a student was stabbed to death last week. Today's stabbing happening inside the high school. The victim is expected to survive. We're only going to get stronger from this and smarter. And we're only going to grow closer together from this. He said the same heroes from the Entirely confident of our community's positive, safe, and bright future. And determined to individually and collectively do our parts to restore the trust and peace of mind that all parents and residents of New Rochelle deserve. New Rochelle, New York. Home to 79,557 residents, an award-winning school district, and our very own Iona College. The New Rochelle School District is comprised of six public elementary schools, two public middle schools, and one public high school. I was fortunate enough to attend William B. Ward Elementary School, the largest grade school in Westchester County. I later attended Albert Leonard Middle School for 6th through 8th grade and then ended up in the infamous New Rochelle High School. Despite what many might think, I had an amazing experience there and am grateful to have attended such a large and diverse place where I was introduced to people from all walks of life. However, the early parts of 2018 were not kind to the community of New Rochelle and those enrolled in the high school today. The new year was brought in not by ambitious students looking to fulfill all of 2018's resolutions, but by the tragic murder of New Rochelle High School junior Valerie Schwab. Less than a week later, two more violent incidences shocked the school, one being a fight at the local pizzeria Gemelli's and the other being a non-fatal stabbing that occurred within the school the following day. Parents were enraged by the multiple acts of violence and many people of the community spoke out, including students of Iona. I personally think that they shouldn't be let out for lunch. I think it should be considered a closed campus. You can't fix a total car, you gotta replace it. And that's not even including the scandal surrounding New Rochelle's former athletic secretary, as well as the security guard arrested for impersonating a Mount Vernon police officer. I sat down with juniors Lexi Cohn and Tony Corona to hear their take on everything going on. You're always gonna have small altercations here and there, but I think that's at every high school, no matter where you go, and I think after Valerie's death, you hear a lot more about altercations that happen at New Row or small little incidents and everything's kind of blown out. But before that, nothing out of the ordinary. Driving to school every morning and at 7 a.m. and seeing multiple news vans just parked there ready to get some sort of interviews from students, it just, it was annoying. You know, we're trying to cope with somebody's death and they're here putting cameras in our faces and microphones in our mouths and for what? So they could just edit those news clips as they'd like and make us seem stupid. Well, we had a lot of incidents kind of happen in one time frame because prior to Valerie's death, we had the two boys who were in a car crash and then we had Adam, who was a friend of m one of my friends, my friend's little brother. 
But the counselors really did help. Like sometimes you'd see like just people walking down the hall with faculty and they'd be like crying to them. But you know, I think they did the best that they could and I think they handled it very well. I feel like New Rochelle High School as a whole is trying to enforce the rules that we already had placed because these rules were already in place prior to anybody's death. That this closed campus, these uh, you're not allowed to leave through certain exits, but yet they were never really enforced. So as a whole, I think New Rochelle is trying to enforce these rules now and being more strict with what students are able to do while attending school. I think these incidents really brought us more together as a class and as a school and just more aware of everybody. Because we are a really big school, so you're not close with everyone, you're not going to be friends with everyone, but being aware of the community that you're in and you know, vouching for each other is really important. So I feel like with these incidents that happened, we're closer as a community. Despite all the negative publicity and attention from the media, New Rochelle is so much more than what it is made out to be. New Rochelle High School is one of the largest public high schools in New York State with over 3,300 students coming from all walks of life. The embassy, as it is known, displays the flags of all the countries represented by the diverse group of students who attend. The high school is also known for its successful sports programs, with a football team who has consistently been one of the top performers in New York State, a soccer team who earned themselves the title of state champions in 2016, and a wrestling program currently ranked second in Section 1 who earned themselves a New York State champion with junior Jake Logan this past season. In addition, the New Rochelle High School volleyball team acquired a section title for their 2017 season for the first time in the school's history. All in all, New Rochelle High School has so much more to offer than what people might think. We are a united, growing place that students should look forward to coming to every day. We are a family. We are New Rochelle Strong.